Iran is not just a fabrication of modern diplomacy. Iran is a genuine nation or country, as we use those terms in the Western world, with a history going back not just hundreds but thousands of years, and with a very strong sense of awareness. In Iran, we have not nationalism, as you have in the Arab world, but patriotism, which is a very different thing. And I think that's important to bear in mind in our dealings with Iran. As I said, they do not possess, the regime does not possess the support of Iranian patriotism. I think we should take care not to give it to them as a gift. Now, we have a similar situation at the present time that uh, the Arab governments of the Middle East find themselves facing dangers greater than that of Israel. And there are several such dangers. The most important one at the present time is the Iranian threat, the double threat of what you might call Iranian imperial expansion and the Shia revolution. The Iranian revolution has now reached what you might call the Stalin or Napoleon phase. And it is a mortal threat to the whole region, which they will realize. So you have, on the one hand, the Iranian threat and the Shia threat resulting from that. There are significant Shia populations, first in Iraq, which is a, where there's a Shia majority, then in eastern Saudi Arabia and some of the Gulf states, in Syria and elsewhere. And uh, these could become really dangerous support bases for the Iranians. So I think one of the major reasons for, shall we say, a more cautious and even uh, a more friendly approach towards Israel is the feeling that uh, on the worst estimate of Israel's intentions, Israel doesn't represent a major threat to the region, whereas Iran and the Iranian Revolution and the Shia revival do.